Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and my new video. It's Nancy here and today I'm going to show you some last minute makeup and costume ideas for Halloween, which is really, really knocking on our door. We like, who doesn't love Halloween? I love Halloween, but somehow every year I have some last minute Halloween plans or events to go to. <laughs> so I decided to film this video for you guys because I'm always kind of struggling. Oh, what should I be this year? Because every time I'm going somewhere last minute, as I said, and I think this video could be really helpful for you guys out there if you are struggling with the same thing as I am. Now, I'm going to show you uh, two uh, outfits that I did and makeup looks for Halloween that I, already, that I already did in the last few years and I love those. One of them is Harley Quinn which, um, which I didn't have costume, I didn't have anything for that, I just spontaneously decided to be her and uh, it was shortly after watching the Suicide Squad, the movie, which I was obsessed with, although I'm not really into those like those type of movies but it, it's a it's a good movie if you never watch it you should <laughs> and Harley Quinn is such a bad in this video so yeah I decided to be her and also it's a perfect look for couples like couples Halloween look costume whatever you want to call it and I did that with my boyfriend so he was Joker I was Harley Quinn where Joker is really popular right now <laughs> So me and my boyfriend did that uh, two years ago, I think. So well, I will insert a picture of myself as Harley Quinn. And one really good tip that I have for you guys, you know, like from the time that DIY and tips, hacks videos were popular on YouTube, I heard this one and I didn't forget it and I used it for my costume and it was really helpful. So you know how Harley Quinn has this hairstyle. I just did put my hair up like this obviously and then you take an eyeshadow which I don't have any eye like any small eyeshadow on my hand right now but let's let's say this is an eyeshadow which is it's a blush but it doesn't matter so what I did is that I took a blue eyeshadow or, or pink eyeshadow which because one side is pink other side is blue and you take your piece of your hair which I'm not gonna do right now because I just washed my hair yesterday honestly and I'm not gonna destroy it now but you take a little piece of your hair you take the eyeshadow put it inside and just do this get it and that way you can put some color in your hair which is uh, very, it's very often that you need to put some color in your hair for Halloween costumes, so that's a really good tip. And then uh, for the wardrobe I used, I just put something together that looked like Harley Quinn style. I obviously didn't have anything what she was wearing and it's like cold during Halloween to wear something like she's wearing. So I did mix some things together and make it like look like trashy and Holly Queen style, you know what I mean? And the second idea is obviously school look, Dia los Muertos, and I love that. I could do that every year. I love doing makeup for that costume, like it just looks so cool. And I did take a lot, like it did take a lot to do this uh, face makeup, as you can see on the picture. I did do a lot of details and stuff and then this flower thing on my head I DIY'd it. I just bought some fake flowers and I put it together. It was really easy. I used hot glue gun to do that and yeah, uh, this was my look a few years ago for Halloween and I just also for the wardrobe did the same thing or similar thing for as for the Harley Quinn. I just put something together that looks like that vibe. I wore a black bra which is showing under my white lace top. So that was kind of a vibe, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, you don't really have to go all the way in and buy new costumes and also if it's last minute uh, you don't really have time for, to, to do that or it's uh, often that you have to order costumes and if you don't order them on time obviously you're not gonna get them on time for Halloween and yeah, so if you have some spontaneous party you're gonna go to this year, I got your back except for these two ideas that I already showed you for previous years. I will take you on a step-to-step -step guide for uh, dressing up and doing your makeup for your Halloween and I'm gonna show you three different things that you can do out of your wardrobe, out of the makeup you have. So, I am wearing this black top for a reason and this is because first thing we're gonna do is cat makeup and I really like like animal Halloween costumes. I think it's cool. And for cats uh, Halloween makeup, I don't think it's gonna ever go out of style. It's super sexy if you ask me. Like this is like not just spooky Halloween costume or look, it's also like a sexy one. So let's do the cat. So I already have my base on, my base eyeshadow. My like pretty much this is my uh, normal daily makeup. So we will upgrade it to a Halloween look. You will need a black eyeliner, and it's really good to have a black eyeliner pen because so because it makes it easier to draw on your face. I'm gonna first uh, do my eyes, extend uh, my eyeliner up to like here or something, do the real cat eye look. And also I'm gonna add a little bit of a black eyeshadow as well because I think it's required for this look. So I did do, I did already do my eyeliner but I'm just gonna extend it and make it look like catty. Make it look like really really bold. And then for my other eye I'm gonna do the same thing. So yeah, this was the first step for your eyes. Now I'm gonna do the inner corner as well, which I normally never do. And I will just extend it on the inner side of my eye, which is kinda tricky. This Halloween I'ma get even with you. I'ma go summer dip, I'ma go find my boo. You really have to be careful about this spot here. And then you're gonna go all the way around your eye. If you're not comfortable using an eyeliner for this part of your eye, you can also use an eye pencil. It's, it's going to do the same job. And now I'm gonna make this a little bit more put together on here in this corner. And then all the way around my eye. This kind of looks different than the other one, but we'll see. So my eyeliner is kind of done. This looks really crazy right now, but I don't care. I'm gonna put a little bit more of black eyeshadow as I told you guys. Uh, so now on to the nose. You have to do this nose type of cat nose type of thing on here. So we're gonna try to do that with the same eyeliner I use for my eyes. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Freaky shit, hey. And all the way down. It's really strange to show this angle on the camera right now, but yeah. I want to show you guys how this is supposed to look like. <laughs> and then after finishing your nose, you're gonna put this line, like, just slide it down. If you want, you can uh, do like kind of ombre uh, type of thing on your lips, which I am gonna do. So you're just gonna go and do this. Just draw a line around your lip. If 
If you want to do this ombre type of thing on your lips, it's important to keep your middle part lighter so your lips won't appear smaller. Now we're gonna add the most obvious part of this cat look. Guess what it is? So now I'm gonna go in and add uh, some dots around here uh, with my pencil. And one thing I normally don't do when I do my makeup is to do my eyebrows. This look makes them look really light, so I'm gonna fill them in a little bit and I'm gonna do that with a light brown eyeshadow. Your eyebrows doesn't have to look perfect for this, like it's Halloween, you know, but you can make them look perfect if you want to. I just want to make them appear a lot bolder than they are. Also, I want to add some extra highlight, just on normal place that I put it. And also some extra blush. I'm going to use this small um, brush for doing that to, so I can put it right here. You can do whatever with this, you can do red lips or anything else. This is pretty much the makeup. So I just basically use leather uh, leggings which probably all of you have and some sexy booty high heels so yeah my next look is cat again but different kind of cat so you can actually use anything animal printed that you have like this blouse for example which I got in Asian M but you can use anything animal printed and put this pattern on your face as well you don't even have to put it all over your face so it's still a cat for my example and I'm not gonna clean my makeup and redo it again because it's basically the same. I'm just gonna add this pattern and wear this blouse with the same leather leggings and same uh, boobies. So I will just take a brown eyeshadow and put it on here for example on my forehead and this is the similar color of the this blouse like of the background of the blouse fun fact i don't actually like using face colors like those halloween thingies i always do my costume makeup with uh, normal makeup because i think it's way better for your face like it's obviously not good to put eyeshadow on your face on your skin but it's fine. <laughs> this Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you. My face looks kind of dirty actually, but it's fine because when we do the pattern, it's gonna make it it's gonna make it like totally different. I will just put it on here and here on the sides of my nose. It will also make my nose appear a lot like slimmer. So now you can either take a black eye pencil or an eyeliner and I will basically try to do the same pattern on this as on this blouse and you can basically as I said do that with any animal print even the zebra one <laughs> so if you have anything animal printed you can use that as, as inspiration wear that and then do the makeup the same way you know what I mean also, don't put a lot of black color on the places on your face which should be highlighted. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Freaky shit. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Freaky shit. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Freaky shit, hey. Change it up if you want. You can use a red pencil and go ahead and do this. So, you guys, I just took off my makeup and changed. I made a little 
break, lunch break, and we're back in filming the third look for this video. You probably noticed that the lighting is kind of different. That's because I turned off a lamp over this side because it's getting kind of dark. It's already getting dark and it's 4 p.m. So we don't like that. It's not a vibe, but it is what it is. So the third look for today's video is Jigsaw and this is kind of a spookier vibe we have going on right now. <laughs> we have this white eyeshadow here. I'm gonna use that with the moisturizer. I'm gonna put the moisturizer on my face so the color, uh, like the eyeshadow will stick better. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we got the moisturizer. I was actually supposed to wash this brush, but I'm gonna try to clean this brush because I don't have any other. I think and also after doing your Halloween makeup clean all your brushes that's my best tip ever I'm gonna I'm just gonna speed this up and I'll talk to you guys when my face is completely white We are white. And this was the first step of this look. I don't think... Oh, yeah, we we'll really need this palette some more. My, my desk just got completely destroyed. Yep. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so uh, first thing, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow which I'm just going to do black all over my eye and under my eye. It's pretty easy, you don't have to have any makeup skills to be able to do it, just blend it at the ends so <clears throat> it looks somehow put together, you know? And now this fall off here, I'm just going to go ahead and dig into the white again and try to clean it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. And also, the most healthy parties are in the dark. And anyway, so yeah, that's for the eyes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my eyebrows. I'm just gonna leave my eyebrows as they are right now. And then going with, going in with a red pencil. Love this part. I'm gonna do my lips first. That's the totally normal way as if I was doing my makeup. <sighs> what did I do? And then I'm just gonna extend this line a little bit. And now I will do this round circles. So, okay. doesn't have to be perfect and also it's a little bit hard to draw on your face when you have an eyeshadow on but we are doing our best when it gets kind of too dirty you can just clean it with your hand kind of and it will look nice again and you have to do it probably several times all right, my desk is a total mess right now. I thought it was a mess before, but it got even worse. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take this eyeliner pencil again and just draw this to wipe out uh, down here. And I also wanna go in with my eyeliner on my eyes somewhere and make them look even darker. So what I want to do is just to draw a line right here. So yeah, this is the final look you guys. Let me, let me get dressed as well and then I will show you the final look. I think this is my favorite one and I'm so excited I don't even look like myself and that's the whole point of Halloween, right? Just wearing this white shirt. It's my boyfriend's and then this blazer 
just like a black laser and since I don't have a anything better or more accurate for around the neck I put this um, the thingy how do you call it scarf scarf and it's red so it's fine I think it's it adds up a little bit something to the outfit and yeah this is the final look I'm excited and I think this video got you guys excited as well and that you could get something out of it that you are a little bit more inspired right now and that is going to be a little bit more easier for you to get that last minute costume and makeup for Halloween so if you use anything out of this video please let me know I am dying to know if you do that like it would be so amazing and excited and yeah uh, if you didn't know this guys, I'm really close to uh, reach 1k uh, here on YouTube, which is what the... So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, subscribe down below if you feel like it and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!